right, thank you, Dan. Well, it's time for Culinary Corner. Yes, it is time. Today, Chef Bill Twaller walks us through the basics of plant-based foods. Back with another Culinary Corner, Chef Bill Twaller joins us. When we were doing the story on this fabulous new uh, Innovation Center here with Greenville Tech, we are talking about the popularity of plant-based foods, and you've got some ideas. Yeah, so we're going to come up with a cauliflower rice class also, mm -hmm. and we're going to make cauliflower rice for everybody. It is that popular. We're, we're doing whole courses on cauliflower whole rice. Course, a whole hands-on course on cauliflower rice. I love it. I can actually substitute cauliflower rice, well that's the secret, but for any rice dish. Uh -huh. and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. But we're going to cut through, get it nice and open, and what I want to do is kind of just break off the um, florets. See, this is key. Because yeah. if you don't have this at home and you're not going the frozen route, you have to use the... You use a microplane mm -hmm. or you can use a box grater. Okay. Which takes some muscle and some time, but it's worth it because it's good. It's, it does have great flavor. And you, you know, you, you just have to, with the stuff you're doing at home, it's got a lot more moisture in it mm -hmm. than the frozen does. So be aware, you might have to cook a little bit longer or yeah. squeeze out the moisture. So we've got our florets in, RoboCoo's ready to go, food processor. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to so pulse it down. Can you play with how fine it will be in, in something like oh, this? Oh, yeah. So we can stop right there. You can take out the big chunks and save those for the next time. Mm -hmm. But we have... I don't... I, don't, I know it's, people have different tastes, but I love it like that. Like yeah. kind of riced. Yeah. It where there are bigger chunks, though. Yeah, so we went ahead and did this one earlier. Yeah, yeah. it has bigger chunks. Yeah. This is a little finer product, mm -hmm. and I've got more florette than stem. I think in here there's a lot of stem. Yeah, okay. So doing it yourself, uh, it, okay. it's got some moisture in it, so we have to sometimes cook it, steam it, squeeze it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'll mess up your uh, dishes a little bit. Okay, this would All be right. a good Christmas gift for me. Yes, it, it would be. A, if, you, if you need any ideas. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can a, pull a off. A robo-coup. A robo -coup, yes. I'll see what I can pull off. All but, right. You know, those are not the cheaper of the mics. <laughs> That's okay. So a little bit of olive oil. We're going to saute some onion. So this is a rice-tastic dish, we're calling it? This is a cauliflower rice-tastic Yeah, tastic cauliflower rice-tastic. I like my... This will be uh, interesting. I like my zucchini kind of charred. Well, not charred, but brown. Yeah. It's still kind of raw on the inside. So we're going to let it kind of brown up. And as it browns up, we'll get ready to add the last little taste bits to it. But you need a hot pan. Mm -hmm. You can see it's starting to get a little brown. We got one right there. So we want it to get brown, get that flavor. We talked about flavor. So caramelizing something gives it more flavor. Roasted garlic makes the garlic sweet. Mm -hmm. We did that, threw it in the oven, got it nice and soft, pulled out the uh, cloves. Throw some corn. So this is a good end of the season kind of dish too. We got a little corn left, a little zucchini left. Yeah. And then from the sautéing, I want to put a little salt, flavor, mm -hmm. pepper. Mm -hmm. Put our cauliflower rice in. Mm -hmm. You might want to turn the exhaust fan on, or you're going to make the wife mad. Uh -oh. Smell it stink up the whole house. Yep. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of. Pretty caramelization in there. Yeah. And then just to kind of give it another whim, you could go with this, throw some soy sauce in. You've got. I was going to say, it's kind of like a stir fry. Yeah, you got fried rice, but we are going to do a little more of a, say, a risotto riff. Some nice low fat ricotta cheese. I mean, you could throw in a, um, a, a, a scramble an egg in there. That would yep. be good. You could throw anything in it at this point. This is just going to kind of cream it up a little bit, give a little more texture and flavor. I mean, you could make it unhealthy and throw some heavy cream in there, but we, <laughs> this, is, this is a plant-based healthy dish. I mean, why not? It's, it's your signature ingredient. Low fat, low <laughs> fat, low fat cheese. Oh, look at that. That looks good. That Delicious. looks good. We need some new ideas for our cauliflower rice. We're running out of ideas. So you just need to come to my class at CHI. You know, you can enroll, chigreenville.com. you be set to go. Yeah. Plate it nicely. Some nice fresh flavors. Mm. We'll give it a little color zip. That's cayenne. 
a little touch of cayenne. Okay. You could use paprika. Uh huh. So it's okay. Okay. And if you had a little herb, you could throw some herbs on there. Can I do a taste like a test? Black pepper. Of course did, you can. Did we get the final product here? Yes. Okay. I'm not. It's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try that again? No. That's so good. Cauliflower rice tastic. That is delicious. I love the ricotta in that. Never yeah. thought of that. Just a little, a little something. A little something, something. Okay, I'm going to go recover. But that's been another culinary corner. It was hot, huh? It was hot. <laughs> okay, TV bites, Hoover, next time. TV bites. Tiny bites yeah. on TV. Yeah. Remind me, please, Amy. I will For try. more on Culinary <laughs> Corner, head to WSBA.com. Look under the Carolinas Family tab. We came up with so many different ideas, even watching that, Amy, that you could do with that dish. It you was really, really good, in. though. That ricotta gave it a mm -hmm. nice bite. Fantastic. And that's all I got to say about that. It looks great. Coming up on Carolinas Family at 4, a homeless man in Oregon is doing what he can to help his community rebuild. We have that story on the way next.